Lights out. Tonight, we go beyond the civilized niceties that you know as home to a strange land, the bayou country, where it's dreary and damp and sometimes deadly. Lights out. God bless the cotton mouth. Hound leg of the spotted brown. Never now kill the moonlight. <laughs> yes, that's a plenty. <laughs> yes, that's a plenty. That's a plenty. That's a plenty. So what am I supposed to do with all that stuff? Hang the bag around your silly neck, gal. Around my neck? All that dead stuff, not me. We's all dead stuff sooner or later. So don't be snooty, gal. Them's powerful charms. He'll get you married, sure. Well, get married him while I caught you in here. I can get married any old time I want. It's to who, that's the question. There's plenty been chasing me, but I ain't having none of them dirt farmers. Nothing in the head but hunting and fishing. I want me an adventure some man. An engine fighter, maybe. But most of all, I want me a rich man. With a gold ring on each of his fingers and one for each of mine. He ain't alone in your desires. But who is he? And how am I going to know him? Maybe he's one that ain't rich yet, but I'm going to be. You're going to know him when you see him. And you're going to see him tonight for sure, pretty soon now. That's what you're going to the silent supper for. Yeah, go on, ain't you? This silly fool gal's expecting me, and I promise. So I reckon I'd best go. Only I don't believe in all that foolishness. <laughs> That's what lots say. And why you ask old Miss Watkins to your cabin for? Answer me that, eh? I just ain't taking no chances, that's all. And hang the grigri round your neck, gal, or you'll be an old maid, sure. And you'll die with your spring shrunk up and your heart in the misery. Miss Watkins, why don't you loan me that bag of yarn? Must be the power in that, sure enough. she never say that no more to her, even in fun and to hell. It's my own proud grigri that'll never come off my throat Wake and eat and asleep and whilst I'm alive. What's in it? There's lots of folks here about that like the hex on his watches. But there's a dead was stuck up the power. But what's in it? Never you mind. But it's so powerful. Up in the door, Mr. Fiend. And if in the old red fiend yourself walk in. Good evening, Dee Dee. Calhoun! You'll have to scare me out of the land of the living. Scare you? Didn't reckon I could do that. <laughs> Calhoun Chevron. <laughs> I'd rather the Red Fiend walk in. I reckon he'd turn green if he'd seen you. Evening, old woman. What do you mean, always busting in here that way? Why don't you whistle or ride, fire off that rifle so people would know you was coming? So sure, people could shut their doors and blow out their legs. Well, you're always telling me that you're hankering for a little excitement. Thought I'd oblige. You were ignorant, dirty, cross-eyed, slow-footed cotton picker, and I hate you, so now, get out. Hold on, hold on. I ain't no cotton picker. I'm a hunter. Then what you doing up here? Well, the fact is, I was trailing a wildcat. Trailed her right up to your front door. Never expected to find her indoors turned into you. Oh, maybe she did. So watch out. There's more things lurking behind the veil of the night. I know I know. Yes, yeah, so you keep telling folks around. I'm the only one. Shaboo around hereabouts. Now you traipse along, old woman. I gotta talk to Dee Dee. 
What have you got to say to me? Well, I was going anywhere. I don't like to hear no lovers quarrel last thing at night. Lovers? Huh? <gasps> Dee ain't got some silver for old Miss Watkins? Have oh, you, Dee Oh, of course not, Miss Watkins. You don't just scoff no more, nor listen to scoffers. In the giggly round you float, a lover will come in a sailing boat. Hang the griggy round your wrist, round your finger, your man, you twist. Hang the griggy. Oh, thank you, child. And good evening tonight to supper. Don't forget. Keep your tongue from wagging hard. Set your place at the table, walking back in. Wait for a big wind to be, and your future husband. You'll see. How you pay that old fool all your good money for, anyways? Huh. She's got a penny. Folks say she's got a sack of silver hidden in that old broken-down cabin of hers. What business is that of yours? All that fuss just to get a husband. Here's a prospect standing right in back of you. Is that all you come here to say? You done? No. The fact is, I come over... Yes? Now, listen here, Dee Dee. Folks, tongues have been wagging all over the county about you living here alone since your ma and pa got took with the plague. So I, I thought I'd come over again and ask you to marry me. I can't understand why I'm so pesky. You ain't no pretty in the other girls around, and you're getting on in years. But it would stop folks from talking. Would it? And it'll get you a nice piece of bottom land, too. That's a lie. Look on me. That's a lie, you little wild cat. I don't want none of your old scrub land. It's just that I'm plum test and I love you. Well, I don't love you. And you don't have to worry about me not getting married, because I'm going to marry. Who? Well, I don't know who yet. But I'm finding out tonight I'm going to a silent supper. <laughs> you mean a dumb supper? A lot of silly happens. Do it every month. Well, you don't need to sneer. I've seen you burning a fox's tail, so the hunting be good. No, well, that ain't voodoo. That's just plain common sense. Indeed. Well, I've got just as much common sense as you, and I'm going. Can't tell. Maybe I'll see something. Maybe you'll see me. Cause I'm plumb and determined you ain't gonna live lonesome much longer. I ain't gonna see you because you don't know where I'm going. Now get out of my way. I want to see a real man who's got lots of money and the power. Of course it's me. What was you expecting? A gator warming himself by the fire? Don't know. Couldn't like to tell kind of the resemblance. Wouldn't be none surprised from what folks are saying. Saying? Saying what? Well, speak up. What is it? Nothing. Sean, what's that over there? That? That looks like a coffin to me. But what you doing with it? My cat died. I'm burying it. Cinder? Oh, I'm awful sorry. You must feel very bad. I know you cared a lot about Cinder. What happened to him? Like a breath, I reckon. With a regular box with a cross on it. Is that real proper? Why not? Cinder was a good cat when she was alive. Ain't nothing too good for her burying. But you can't. Tell. She's dead. Let the dead rest. Now, you, you're alive. And I'm a heap more interested in that fact. Indeed. Where are you going this time of night all alone in the swamps? Oh, no place in particular. Sure you are. I asked you, where are you going? The old shack by Pearl McLeod's place. McLeod's is away. Pearl ain't. A lot of the gals going to be there. A gathering of the Marion age, eh? Going to look over your shoulder for a prospective husband? How do you know? I know lots of things. Well, well, if and we are, what business is it of yours? Nothing. Except you already know how I feel about you. But what difference does that make? I'm going to see a real man. A man who's going to take me out of this bayou country. Maybe up to Natchez. And I'll ride a carriage. And I'll be a real lady. I'll have dresses of silk and emerald for my ears. That all? Oh, there's going to be lots more. Only why should I be wasting my time telling you about it? You ain't got nothing. Ain't I? Don't be so sure. What I got ain't fitting for most. 
I got the power. Oh, more Miss Watkins, I suppose. That old fool granny woman. What's she got but a bunch of stories to scare women folk? It's whispered she got a heap of silver coins. Yeah? Yeah. Silver coins. I reckon that's the most powerful charm a body can have. Yeah. Dee Dee, if an hour's to take you to Natchez and buy you a silk dress, would you run away with me? Run away? I mean, would you marry up with me? Well, if you could, but you can't. Maybe you'll be surprised. How about giving me a kiss to bind the bargain? Oh, I should say no. Just take a minute. Come here. Don't come near me on the door. I'll scratch your eyes out. All right, I can wait. I waited this long. I ain't gonna force you. But if and I wanted to, I could put a fix on you proper. Make you plump touched in the heart about me. You believe me, don't you? That's what I'm looking for. That's what folks say you can do. But I ain't one of them. And you can't scare me one little bit. No? No. Well, you run along to them other crazy girls. Run! <gasps> Where's Dee Dee? I didn't she never come in? Well, it wouldn't surprise me, honey, if and she didn't. She don't believe. Well, how are we going to have a silent supper with an unbeliever? Oh, she believes right enough. She just makes out smart alecky all the time. Well, I say she ain't coming at all. She'll be here. She done give a solemn oh, oath. A solemn oath. A lot you she... best do all your chin now, because Dee will be the last one to come in here. And from the moment she opens that door, nobody dares and talk. <laughs> or giggle. And make a sound. Man. Just a word with you, old wise woman. I've got no words for you, Ike. You're so greedy, don't you? Very powerful potion, I was told. Maybe I want to buy me one. You like silver, don't you? You've got no silver. Didn't let on your head. Just said you liked it. We all do. That's no way your mind go brew yourself some silver down by your swamp fire. You ain't being very nice and polite, Miss Watkins. You're trying hard to. You want no trucking with your conjure man, so get. Before I put the eye on you. Don't you ain't gonna, you ain't no power with me. <laughs> it ain't scared of you. Just, just don't touch that bag. That's all, you old she-devil. <laughs> I just come here to tell you about my cat, dying. A cat? Cinder. You black him? Yeah. No. Is she buried safe with a, a stake through her heart? No, she ain't. She's loose from her coffin. That's why you better not uh, say no more things like that about Cinder. Because she's standing right behind you, grinning at you. Hmm. There. <laughs> now, nah, now you won't do no withering up, you old hag. The conjurement. <laughs> Hey, the fallen saints, Lucifer, oh, no,
Who is this? Miss Marcy. Come on in. Well, Sean, what are you doing here? Where's Miss Watkins? She's gone. Gone where? Down to the village, I reckon. Asked me to stay here and look after the place till she got back. Oh. What'd you want with her? Oh, I want nothing special. Only wanted to tell her about tonight. About the supper you laid? Full pack of gals? What happened? Oh, lots of excitement. I could scare them all out of their wits. The wind blowing and the thunder rolling and the lightning. Flash. What's the matter? I reckon you know good enough what happened tonight, well as I do. No? Huh? That knife there in your hand says so. What are you rambling about, gal? You found out a permacloud place, didn't you? You saved it from my place, didn't you? All right. Guess you might as well know. Not that you don't already. It was me you seen tonight. And I liked mighty well the place you set for me. Liked it so well, I took me a souvenir so you'd know me again when I come courting. It was you. It was me? you and went away. Me. You must have known there'd never be anybody else for you. Or nobody else for me. You're gonna be my woman. I like you. We're gonna get us out of this dirty swampland. Mm. Sky is real favorable tonight. And the moon is right and right as rain. And I aim to take us off to Natchez. Natchez? But where'll you get the money? I got... I'll get it. Don't you worry none about that. I fixed me a powerful Grigory tonight. But never you mind that now. You gotta get home and pack. Oh, but John, I can't. You will if I tell you. Didn't you see me when you set a place tonight? Yes. Then do what I tell you. I reckon. Pack up everything. Money, shoes, clean out the cabin good. Now run along now. I'm coming for you real quick. All right. Uh, I love you. I reckon. And I, too. <laughs> now run along quickly. I'll come and fetch you soon. Oh, John! What's the matter, Dee Dee? Why, oh, you surprised me. Why, didn't I tell you I was coming for I, you? I didn't expect you so soon. We've well, got to get out of here before Senna. Oh, it won't take me but a minute. Here, let me help you with this. You ready to go? What are you staring at, gal? That rooster claw bag at Miss Watkins. What, you plump crazy? It is. It's Miss Watkins. Gregory, I know it anyway. Hush your mouth, gal. You're talking foolishness. Well, I've seen her wearing it today. Chuck, I've never seen her when she wasn't wearing it. She told me she'd never take it off. Eating, waking, sleeping, less than she was dead. Well, is you coming with me, gal, or ain't you? Jean. Is she... Is Miss Watkins dead? How should I know? She is. And you was with her in the cabin tonight with that knife in your hand. Jean, you killed her! Shut up! That's where you got the money because we could go to Natchez. If you was going to buy me a silk dress with Miss Watkins, still the pieces, wasn't you? Shouldn't I tell you to shut your mouth? What if neighbors was to hear you talk you like that? You killed her, didn't you? Don't keep goading me! You killed her, didn't you? Yes! And he loved her! Yes, I killed her with this. <gasps> well, I took the silver pieces she's been walking on all these years. You wanted some, didn't you? And I... I'm tired of roaming the lonely swamps, living like a dirty lost hound dog, while that old crone gets paid silver for what I can do better. So I took it, because I got more power than she. And what's happened to her is going to happen to you, if then you don't hurry away with me quick. No, I ain't going. What's that? <gasps> I never was keen on running off with you, except I thought it was ordained. I suspected you was evil, but a thief and a murderer. No, I wouldn't go now with you. It was rough to cut my heart out. Well, that's the way it is, you little fool. You think I'm going to leave you behind? Leave you to blab on me? Well, I won't tell you. You let go and leave me be. Leave you beat us with a pack of hounds and a posse of me in the morning. Well, I won't tell you. No, you better have done. Oh, sure, you hurt you me. And the thought of you, and the swamp, and the fear of night. Don't, don't. Oh. 
sorry to come busting in like this again without knocking. I, I, I know you told me to get. But... Well, I've always been taught that a man don't cut a gal up till there's legal wed. Looks like he will not going to wait. He was going to kill me. He was plumb out of his head. I know. I saw him through the window. Feels like he's been mighty busy this evening. I'm glad I came along when I did. The fact is, I was tracking me down a rooster to improve my court, and I thought I'd make me one of them gree-gree bags like old Ms. Watkins had. Oh, now, don't you stop believing all that foolishness. And none of it was a copper cent. And the silent supper wasn't true, nother. Because what I seen was him. <laughs> Will you wait tomorrow to face worrisome problems? There's no need to. I'll lend you my personal Grigri bag. <laughs>